Mike. I want to bring in Chief Meteorologist McCall Vrydags. McCall, tomorrow's high temperatures, they could be dangerous for folks without AC, not just there in the jail, but across our viewing area. Yes, 100%. We're talking about the hottest day we have seen so far this year, with temperatures reaching 90 degrees as we head into the afternoon. So our AC units are going to be on full blast. And when I was looking at the hour-by-hour hour temperature trend for tomorrow, by the time we get to lunchtime, we're going to have temps sitting in the low to middle 80s. After that, we're in those mid to upper 80s to near 90 degrees all the way through the afternoon and evening. So those AC units are going to be working very hard throughout the afternoon tomorrow. As far as temperatures are concerned, we're looking at a high of 90 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. It is possible we could tie or surpass a record tomorrow of 91. So we'll have to see if that 90 stands. Now the last time that we hit 90 degrees was all the way back in September. So it's been quite some time since we've been that hot. So some of our AC units may not be prepared for that kind of heat. Now, temperatures most of the day tomorrow are going to be in the 80s. So it's not just the AC that we need to be thinking about. Remember, our cars can heat up very quickly in this type of weather. On an 80 degree day, it only takes 10 minutes for inside of your car to reach 99 degrees. Once you get to that 20 minute range and beyond, we're talking about triple digit temperatures inside your car. So now's the time to just remember that tomorrow with temps that warm, check the back seat before you get out of it, especially moms, dads. This is uh, something we talk about unfortunately every year about kids and pets being left inside of hot cars. We don't want to be talking about that tomorrow afternoon here on Channel 7. Now we're also going to be dealing with some storms. They move in tonight and I have that coming up in about 10 minutes.